Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Interstellar Modeler. Uh, I'm continuing now with the USS Enterprise Space Seat Edition here. I'm going to um, go over a few things that I've done here. As you can see, I've uh, made a bit of progress since the last video. So let me just show you a few things here. Um, this, of course, is the primary hull, as we all know. And the main job that you have here is to hide the seam that's created from the uh, uh, two pieces here, the top and the bottom piece. And uh, again, I'm using the uh, Mr. Hobby Dissolve Putty here for the job, and it does a pretty good job. As I've indicated before, uh, you have good control with this product because you can brush it on over the seam. Um, I applied it on a couple times and then used different grades of sandpaper to uh, smooth it over. So as you can see, it is looking pretty good. Um, I've already proceeded to apply some of the decals there, as you can see on the surface, so this is moving um, along just fine. And uh, let me go over a few details here with the nacelles. Now, I've built this model uh, several times before, and uh, each of the previous times I've basically left this section clear. Um, but one of the things I did for the 1 350 scale was I used um, a, um, a dull coat to uh, spray onto these clear bussard pieces, um, and it creates a nice uh, sort of uh, haze effect here. And um, I really like the way this turned out. So uh, basically, this um, uh, front end piece here comes with two uh, pieces or two parts that you have to put together or at least insert onto the nacelle here. Um, the first, of course, is this clear covering, but inside of that is another piece. Um, and I have here the extra pieces that come with this model. These pieces are uh, made for um, anyone that wants to build the uh, pilot version episode of the ship. And that, of course, is why those uh, holes are there, uh, to allow those needles to come through. Um, but uh, this is the piece I'm talking about here. This is the inner piece here that has these striations that are supposed to duplicate the fan piece that you see rotating um, in the studio model. So uh, what I did here is I painted that piece uh, with Tamiya's uh, clear red paint, um, gave it a nice red color, uh, inserted it into the nacelle. And then uh, rather than leaving that clear, again, I coated that with a uh, dull coat and it added um, a nice effect here, creating this frosted look. So it gives it that kind of this layered sort of effect, I guess you might want to call it. Uh, but I really, really like the way it turned out. Uh, so this is something you might want to try if you decide to put this model together. Uh, again, the whole piece is clear, so you have to mask that off. And of course, paint uh, these end pieces here um, the same color as you're painting the rest of the hull. Okay, and then this, of course, is the secondary hull. Um, in the uh, previous video, I talked about using that uh, dissolved putty on the seam here. And as you can see, it did a pretty nice job. It's nice and smooth, so it hides it pretty well. And then there is the, uh, here's, of course, the bottom of the ship here. And the, the seam isn't too prominent, but it, uh, again, did a very good job at hiding it as well. Okay, and again, as you can see, I'm applying the decals already here. Um, by the way, the color that I'm using for this model is Tester's Light Gray. Um, that is the same color I painted my 1350 scale model with, and uh, I think it really does a nice job to duplicate a, the uh, grayish tone that you tend to see on screen. It, of course, deviates from the blue color from the, uh, uh, at least that the original miniature uh, was painted in. Um, so I think this does a pretty nice job to duplicate what you see on screen. Uh, what you see here, of course, is where the sensor dish uh, goes into, and I painted this uh, copper. So that's basically just testers copper paint there, and um, and yeah. So everything else is uh, proceeding quite nicely here. Uh, I'm going to start piecing the model together uh, after I apply the rest of the decals, and um, then move on, of course, to the Botany Bay. So thanks again for watching, and um, I'll keep you updated on my progress.